All right, so this is part two of the video I just made, reference to T5 working with movies, uh, MKV files, uh, 265 files, 264, basically every file type plays, right? So my roommate uh, just happened to have this. This is an NVMe drive. It's a 500 gig NVMe XLR8 PNY. Uh, but anyway, he's got it in this external um, thingamajigger here, but he doesn't doesn't know the brand. But I'm assuming that if one works, what is it? Micro. It's, it's some Chinese piece of shit. Whatever, it, it works. So he put obviously we put the NVMe. I want to see if it would work with the 2018 11 and a half inch iPad Pro. We got it plugged in with a USB C cable um, to see if this works because this runs at like a thousand. Uh, meg per second versus like the T5, which runs at 470 meg per second or whatever. It was fine. This one's playing fast enough, but just for kicks, I want to see if an NVMe drive would work. Guess what? Plugged it in my iPad Pro. We go down here to files. Um, done. So it's Davis's drive. It's this drive right here. This is where your external drive will always show up. This is where the T5 showed up in the last video. Davis drive, he put this test movie on here. It's an MKV file, 6.8, 6.08 gig. Um, so I go to here. It's not going to show up right here. See Matroska file, MKV file, we go over here and we go to v open in VLC. Make sure you have the VLC app on your iPad Pro. Open in VLC. And it's playing down here. I have to full screen it. You can scrub through it. No issues. As you can tell, the volume works. Perfect. So, yeah. So it's interesting. I knew the T5 worked from other YouTube videos, but there wasn't a lot of specifics on it. But now. Uh, at least for sure, this brand of NVMe works. This um, PNY XLR8. I'm assuming like a 970 Pro will work as well in an external. But if you're watching this and you need an exact replica that we know for a fact works, you don't want to waste any money. And then whatever, if you can find this on Amazon, he wasn't sure. There's no brand name on it or anything. Just a just a standard uh, NVMe external case and probably make sure i think this is only a usb 3.0 cable this is not actually a thunderbolt 3 cable that might improve your speed some don't know what the ipad's limiting the speed at but there's a noticeable difference versus the t5 when i opened a movie on the t5 and i clicked if you'll see in the last video i clicked play vlc there was a little bit of lag like maybe three seconds um or from the time i hit open in vlc to the time it actually starts playing whereas this drive is obviously noticeably snappier as soon as i hit play in vlc bing bang boom uh, it's playing. You see you start the video. There's no lag. T5 definitely, um, we know for a fact, works with just a little bit of a three-second delay when you play a video. It's nice and small. I keep it in my backpack with my iPad. But, yeah, now you know uh, there is an external NVMe that will work in an, ex in an enclosure. Um, and, obviously, there's a shit ton of them on Amazon. So, I assume they would all work since we don't even know what brand this is. Don't even have a brand name on it. Uh, yeah, so now you can keep movies on it. On either you can get a T5 to keep movies on, or if you want maximum speed, you can get an NVMe drive. This one's only a 500, but I imagine you can get a two terabyte 970 Evo and just have the absolute maximum speed. And then if you wanted to use it for a thumb drive on your computer as well, you could, but uh, both of these work on the iPad Pro.